understanding from what I've heard is that the guy that like kind of oversaw everything in the Aussie building, he was kind of a not so nice guy in life. So I guess in death, you, you're kind of kind of get that same effect. You sure you don't want to go up here with me? Dude, I'm just like, <laughs> oh, dude, there's like talking right there. Yeah. After waking up the next day in the haunted Jerome Grand Hotel, which was in our last video, my father Jeff and I explored the town. Jerome is a very interesting place with a ruthless and bloodstained history. It's a blast furnace where the big open pit is at present. Wow. I'm gonna go look at the hotel across the street. I wonder why people leave these locks. Dude, typo negative covered this song. That's bizarre, dude. Wait. Dude, that's bizarre that I was just getting a B-roll shot, but it, yeah. typo's like one of their biggest songs. I've, I've never even heard this song play anywhere. After checking out the town and getting some coffee, we traveled south across Arizona, heading towards the Wickenburg area. So we're on the way to Wickenburg from Jerome. Jeff. Be very careful. Hey, I'm always careful. Drive so my middle name. I don't know what that means. I've, I don't know what that means either. Wow. That is incredibly beautiful. It's fucking insane that we're just so small and that this exists and whatnot. Wow. Well, off to the mines. That's insane though, dude. Is this all snow? Yeah, it's a snow, man. The climate is changing so quickly. Look at that. There's like a ski lift up there. It's not. To be out in the middle of shit. Oh, yeah. I agree. It's beautiful out here. It's just the trees or something. It is truly bizarre. I can't believe this, dude. Is that like a blizzard? Just hanging in the valley. It's a ton of snow. It's so cold that it's all just. Just kind of shit. It's condensation thing. You know, there's not really snow yet. It's not what I expected to see on this trip. But it's weird, like you go here, and it's like, well, okay. Dry, basically. It's weird how it just stays. This is so hard to believe. This is Arizona. God. We're like on the how you see in movies, we're on that side of the cliff, right? Dude, I mean, we literally, are way we, up here, we are just hugging the mountainside. <laughs> this is this like, is just taking us through so many types of terrain. I mean, all this stuff, is so, dude. That's a huge mountain, too. What, look at this, look at that rain out there. I know. It's cool, just in that little little section. This, these rock formations, are, they vary so much. Okay, so right now we are almost to the Vulture Mine. Sorry, I just couldn't grab my camera out because it's hidden deep in the pile in the back. Um, but we're driving here outside Wickenburg, Arizona. We've been driving all afternoon. Seems like we've been driving like a long time, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But we're about five minutes away, so what are your thoughts? What do you think it's gonna look like? Well, 
it's a ghost town, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so obviously abandoned buildings, uh, hopefully not, I hope it's not like, you know, made to look like a touristy area. I don't think yeah, it's don't supposed think to it be. Is. And then it's, it's a mine, it's a copper mine. So different mine entrances. I've never done a ghost so. town investigation or a mine investigation. So it's going to be super interesting just to get here and feel the area out. This is really beautiful like here. Oh like yeah. This desert scenery here is like probably the best I think we've seen. We're also meeting a couple special guest investigators. So don't want to tell you who they are yet, but we're about to uh, link up with them in a couple of minutes and that'll be pretty cool. So yeah, here we go. She's not here. Oh, well, she's not. No. Oh shit. Really? Can you just drive around a little bit more? So she's not gonna come. Mm -mm. Oh. I don't get it then. Like, how do we know where to go? I don't think we do. Really? Right next to it. Let's walk over. Here. That might camper. be the caretaker. We could ask him. Should we drive over to the right? Yeah. Just kind of far around. I don't want to go over the side. I can't believe it. There's some parking on camper back there. This is really, 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 really weird. You know, I mean, these are just buildings. But yeah, that's the a ghost town. That's the whole point. It's way cooler than a mine. Did you just call me a dumbass on camera? Yes. Like a dumbass. You know, you were, you're my son, so you're like, I'm you, dumbass you got the even second. the jeans times four. No, I think I got less. I think it cut in half no, for me. Your jean, jean squared, spliced. Right here? Yeah, go pull up behind this building. Yeah, look. What a weird place. The Vulture Mine in Vulture City began in 1863 when a prospector by the name of Henry Wickenburg discovered a quartz outcropping containing gold. At its high point, Vulture City was home to thousands of people. Currently, it sits abandoned on private property. Nowadays, the buildings have this eerie quality to them, a vacant loneliness. It's very hard to describe to you at home, but being there on property was almost magical, but a bit darker than that. During the time that it was a fully functioning city, Vulture City saw a number of people die and a lot of misfortune. Little did we know exactly how crazy the paranormal activity that we would capture in that town that night would be. If you don't subscribe to our channel already, please click that subscribe button and make sure to turn your notifications on. It helps us so much and we can't thank all of you enough for the love and support. Also, if you don't follow me, Colin, on Instagram yet, go hit that follow button and go do the same with Peyton, who's even more popping on here than me. Getting more followers gets us one step closer to the big dreams that we have for this channel. In addition, if you want to support the show, our merch store is live. We have some pretty flame designs if you ask me. Thank you to everyone that has bought a piece in the past, and trust me, we see the love and recognize it. Anyways, enough shameless self-plugging. Enjoy the episode, and stay spooky, guys. Hello, my name is Jay Yates. And I'm Marie Yates. And we are founders of Crossing Over Paranormal Society of the Cops crew, also haunted survivors. <laughs> Um, and uh, we've had the privilege of investigating this particular town, uh, quite a few towns, which is Vulture City. 
Ultra City in Wickenburg, Arizona. Oh yeah, Wickenburg, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually got the pleasure of doing it too um, because we've actually been on um, Haunted Case Files season one and two. Um, and she was really excited about us coming out here to actually possibly give us some more exposure because I mean realistically they spent a lot of time and as we travel through some of these buildings um, they spent a lot of time doing a lot of like the historical preservation and uh, it definitely needs to be more noticed um, this place is a gem you actually will see the history in these buildings um, you'll actually get to see the items are in these buildings are actually items from the town right. so um, it's almost like you're stepping back and Time and it's an amazing. Yeah, dude, this place. At is the on. same time, you will have somebody come out and say, you know, <laughs> might touch you or yeah. try to say Shadows. hello to you. We were just sitting here talking earlier, and I saw a shadow walking behind you guys as we were speaking to you guys, hearing noises. Um, this building right behind us is the kitchen, right, babe? Yeah. Um, and uh, we were here recently, and I was in the back room where the beds were at, and um, on two oh. separate occasions. You all right? The building's peeing on me. Oh. <laughs> I would say that one. <laughs> uh, and that's my wife, Marie. <laughs> but no, there was uh, babies crying uh, back here on two separate occasions. The last time I was here was completely random. Um, wasn't expecting that, but it was legitimately happened for probably a good five second burst each time. Um, and they were about 30 minutes apart from one another. Um, so uh, why that happened here, I have no idea. But this was a booming town that had, you know, several thousand people. This is where everybody came to get their food. Um, so this was sort of the area where. Um, I think they served like the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all that right here. So you hear cans or like someone moving around, you know, just yeah. moving jars or something around in the back area. So when we're walking around, maybe you'll hear some of those noises. Mm -hmm. okay. like a mess hall or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wow. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> right. Everybody don't know this is our son Brandon. Yeah, I was gonna say we need to introduce him too. He's actually wanting to take over mom and dad's job. <laughs> Not a bad job. <laughs> so this right here that we're going to walk into. If you actually see it right here, this 1884. building. 1884. It actually will tell you when it was built. So this is the Asse building. Is that yeah. how you pronounce it? Um, so this building is pretty unique. Right um, This is actually where they held a lot of the gold um, when they actually did it. Um, before it was picked up and everything, this was the building where it was held um, before it was shipped off to places. Um, this is the more or less the boss of the place uh, for the mine and everything. There was a uh, murder was shot by somebody and it was actually uh, verified on that um, upstairs. And there was a suicide up there as well. There was a second floor here. There is, there is. Oh, I will honestly say we're no one else is really supposed to go up there, but we did say we'll take you guys. Up there. Oh yes. There is a gentleman, um, another paranormal investigator that came out here, um, was investigating and was shoved down the stairs. Oh my God. Um, when he was standing watch, he actually experienced, and we're about ready to go up into that area here soon, um, but he was standing, it was the watchtower. So essentially yeah. the boss guy here, he would overlook the mine from up here at the top and make sure that nobody was stealing anything. And then you had, you know, they got their paychecks over here and everything. So this was kind of like a real happening in place. Um, but the paranormal investigator was up there and supposedly he um, got punched straight in the face and uh, he got thrown down the stairs and he literally got in his truck and ran off and went home. A couple of days later he came back, he said he felt as if it actually followed him home. Yeah. He had an attachment. And told him to stay and here. To stay here. <laughs> and since then he hasn't come back. So. And if you can see right here along all these things, this is all the stuff that they found throughout the town. Wow. When they actually started um, redoing everything. So... This is like stuff that's like legit for like the area. So yeah. what would have this wow. this stuff would have been like medicine bottles, medicine candles, medicine bottles, liquor, um, food, food, you yeah. know, regular food and stuff like that. So but it's crazy. Like I mean, some of this stuff's in like really good shape too. Yeah, you know? it's crazy. This is a coat. This is a. Oh. I collect wow. antiques right. myself. Cool. I mean, it's a big thing I do yeah. in my whole house. And I will say this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's because of where the pretty penny yeah, sitting in here. Really <laughs> they just thing. got sitting Those right here. If you can see the doors, they yeah, have the original right doors right the that they redid. <laughs> so um, they actually, I mean, when, how they refinished this, it was amazing how they did it. I just fell over oh. this. What did you hit, man? I, how about that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so down here, this is where they store all their like gold bars and stuff, these for safekeeping. Um, Ugh. Pretty nice, huh? We have not yet to gone down there. Marie's been begging me to go down there. Um, I'd probably go down there when it's cold out. I would definitely want to go there in the summertime when snakes are out. Yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I can only imagine what could be down there outside of paranormal. So, I don't know, man. I kind of freaks I mean, me out. I mean, if you really see, goes. like, the history of all this, this is just amazing. You don't see that. I mm -mm. mean, I don't want to keep touching it. I don't know. I mean, if these walls could talk, I mean, I mean, more, yeah. I mean it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, this is, like, legit. I mean, how is this even standing? It's just, like, dirt, you know what I mean? And it's... <laughs> it's doing well, pretty good, you know. Okay. Some of the stuff that was here did not really belong in here. They just put it in here. Um, but this was stuff that they did find in the town. Yeah, we've cleaned up this quite a bit, actually. Yeah. It's the last time we're here. Look at this old school electrical right here, man. <laughs> Put your phone in the head and see that. I'll pass. <laughs> Before we go upstairs, I'll take you over And this here. is the upstairs we'll go up to here in a minute, um, where all that crazy stuff went down. This is actually... Um, his uh, office. Um, they said the the gentleman that actually was in charge got so overwhelmed by everybody coming in here asking him constantly. He would actually climb up there and, and sleep oh. back there, and no one would be like, "Oh, okay, he'll come back." He so he would actually fall asleep. He'd go there eat his lunch. So I guess when they went and cleaned it up, they found like all this these bottles and yeah. stuff like that. And the wow. interesting thing, there wasn't a whole lot of history with this town, and, and the, the one person that did take a lot of history was the blacksmith, which is in a workshop in another place, and he did a daily journal of what happened here, and if it wasn't for those journals of this guy, um, I don't even have his name, um, if it wasn't for those journals, he wouldn't even know any like information like that. Yeah, the stuff that they're finding here of the history of this place, it's, it's just amazing. Really cool. I mean, I, it, like I said, um, I could, my grandchildren one day will be able to come here and hear about what actually it did. I mean, to be honest with you, um, if you read into what they actually found out, um, if it wasn't for Vulture City, Phoenix probably wouldn't even exist because they're the ones that were shipping all the stuff over to Phoenix. Wickenburg wouldn't be here. So um, it's, it's, I mean, yeah. Vulture City actually helped, um, you know, on it for two, three weeks, I mean. Did they actually put a lock on it? Oh, did he put a lock lock? Oh, wow. It's completely locked down. Oh. Okay, so the reason why this is locked is because oh. the, um, the... Was that you? Or? Uh -uh. This building's creepy. It has that... Something was uh, tapping on the tin. What's the tension? He's like, why are you leaving my room so fast? It was quite a bit, right? <laughs> it was quite a bit, actually, yeah. Um, I would say what I hear right. in this building is um, the oh. gentleman told me to get out. Did you just knock on something? No. Did you I, heard, I heard like a, I, I heard a, a knock, but yeah. I thought it was. And it sounded like up here. I heard mm -hmm. like a thunk. Yep. I mean, you could probably climb over there. Oh, I'm, I definitely will. Oh, I'm not climbing up there, dude. You okay. You want, bro. Just be careful. There <laughs> is a part of the floor that is very weak. But at least mm -hmm. it'll give so, you an idea but of that... what it looks like, how it kind of looks over the mine this way. Oh yeah. Um, and, and and again, the reason why they even closed this office because they didn't. If, if the rumor is true that this guy got punched in the face, he didn't want it to happen. Like, well, he got he shoved down the stairs, he said, so he didn't want it. So why do they think that that happened up there? Um, I, to my understanding from what I've heard is that the guy that like kind of oversaw everything in the Aussie building, he was kind of a not so nice guy in life. So I guess in death, you, you're going to kind of get that same effect, right? It's not like you go and you die and you're all of a sudden a nice person. So I think, you know, he was kind of a tough guy in life and he's kind of a tough guy to deal with in death and maybe that he kind of felt like that the guy was intruding on a space um i, I don't know if i swear i keep hearing somebody know, walking out why, here that's why i have to keep and stopping i keep stopping I, and yeah. look over there i'm like okay there's here why, why don't we take like a minute and just sit here and listen if, sure, we, if we can hear anything i'll, I'll stand right here so i can be in, in the crux of the Real rooms quick, the roof, the roof is, is it yes it is okay. yeah so there's a little bit that's what they're
Oh, right here. Did it your foot? No, I didn't step anywhere. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at this right here. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like something dropped right here. No, I heard it. Huh? I heard something. I just thought he was moving. Mm -mm. No I'm just shifting my weight around a little bit so it'd be like Make this it. little crack. Oh, there we go. I always wonder if the 10 on the 10 that we're up, but I don't know what it would be heading right now. Right. Because it ain't the birds. And there's no roof rats in here. I know that there was at one point in time we were doing a live in here. In the previous um, structure, there was some rats and stuff up there. Since then, but all that's been cleaned out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's no place for them to really go up there, so they're completely gone. Yeah, what I heard was kind of tin, and it was more of like a, several things. It wasn't like a raindrop or, you know, a bird or something. But... <clears throat> you sure you don't want to go up here with me? Go ahead and go, dude. Sure, I'm just not going up there. <laughs> okay. Well, do y'all want to move on to the next building? Yeah, we can move on. Yeah. Do you want if you, get, you want to go up there, there? Can can we'll go, wait. You can hop over. Sure. Get your foot on that one, and I'll just hand you the well, camera. I mean, I can just come back later. I would go up there. I will honestly tell oh, you, listen. the voice I'm hearing is saying comp. But I am not sure where it's saying comp. Like, I like, come up here, come here. It's just, I'm hearing come. I use all this ear get out <laughs> in this building. And it's now weird, you're, it's weird. And now you're hearing it say yeah, come. It's saying come. Well, we can go later. Yeah, we, we'll go later. Okay, I'm like, what? It's crazy <laughs> old when you look at it. Like, I know. Jesus. It's amazing how this is. Touch it and it's gone. So this is the area, um, one evening when we're out here investigating, we were just trying to take a break. We were sitting here at the picnic table, um, and I had a uh, flare. Um, and I was just, you know, moving it around. Um, all of a sudden, I started seeing an, uh, a heat signature going back and forth, and it was shaped of a human. Um, so it was, and I started taking pictures of it, and I'm like, over Jay, the from the yeah, tree, from the yeah. hanging tree. So we'll take you over here to the That's hanging cool. tree. Too that actually happened. Actually, subsequently, like, um, I was using this new ITC app, and um, I had turned on the application, and I hear like it sounds like a shotgun coming through the ITC, and a woman scream. Um, I caught it on video too. I didn't think I did, but I actually caught it on video. Which, it, that's not supposed to do that. <laughs> you know and, what I mean? Uh, so another investigator of ours, um, Ryan, um, was actually just taking pictures. And <laughs> weird thing, he was taking a selfie. He's really big about taking selfies. <laughs> but he took a selfie and there was nobody. But there was a, a person. Yeah, that was it was in back of the picture. He'd been facing this way actually towards yeah. the hanging tree, and he was taking a selfie. And he shows it to us. He's like, "Is there someone behind me, dude?" And when we look at this picture, um, and I mean, <laughs> it, it didn't look like Matrix. And it looked like there was probably yeah. a dude standing behind him. Because there's no way the Matrix out here, oh, so it's really yeah. weird. Mm -hmm. So this is the hanging tree, like right here. So Probably like, watch out so they can see. I think the noose Ooh. is up, right? Yeah, the noose is. Uh, they have a noose. Any probably. Wow. So you see even here, right here, it talks about it. It says that uh, um, the hanging tree f for, like, stealing gold. Like, so essentially you could be hung for that. And 18 men were actually hung from here. And if you really look at this bill of a tree, it's way to the ground. Yeah. So they actually said that the men that are actually hung here stayed alive for a long time suffering. Because yeah. um, yeah. they would actually keep just pulling it up. Yeah. And, and and torturing them in a way. Um, so essentially, like they didn't want to, because they didn't want to take them to Prescott. So yeah. they didn't want to take them to Prescott to be tried out here. This is a wild, wild west. They deal with things themselves, and they said, "Well, hey, well then we'll just hang them." But she's right. I mean, look at me. Like if I were to hang myself yeah. from this, my feet are going to be dangling. You know. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this this is supposed to be the branch, right? That was the branch. Well, Historically, they yeah. this is supposed to be the branch. Um, which again, that's you know, <laughs> it's not not that high. Where would sure. they bury people like that? Um, there is actually a cemetery, cemetery right, up the right up the hill. And they would respectfully bury them? You think that, To my that understanding they that they would, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't think that... We they heard, we ha we've, to what we have told, nobody was really buried here on this land. The cemetery was up the hill. Okay. So, okay. Um, that doesn't mean <laughs> that yeah. somebody secretly, you know, right. no, buried absolutely. somebody here. We don't know. Can this you... was a, a the outhouse for this um, cabin, but... Um, Right here was Henry's cabin. Um, honestly, a yeah, lot of people yeah, yeah. Um, don't yeah. like this cabin. Um, a lot of people feel like um, 
Almost like somebody is out to get you in this cabin. I will honestly say. Jesus Christ. It's like me running into the thing. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <scared myself. laughs> um, a lot of people um, just feel very unwelcome in this um, cabin. I will honestly say I tried it. I came in here by myself. Um, and I am not the type that gets really shoved him I, I don't get scared or anything like that i go into cemeteries all that kind of stuff by myself why, why is this on the, is uh -huh. it, you know, so it's real. no put, put it on the lawn so then i was only in here probably five minutes and i had the and i would not hear a voice and i hear things i did not hear one thing but i had the feeling like somebody wanted me out so to be honest with you i just left <laughs> um, I just, I, I know Jay had, what was the experience you had in here? Um, I didn't want to go in here, like, to be honest with you. I don't know what it was. I really can't really describe it, but, like, after everything had happened <laughs> outside of this thing, um, they had asked me to come in here, and, or, or they were saying, oh, I kept saying, oh, someone should go in there alone. Um, and, and then I was, like, I volunteered myself like an idiot, and then I started thinking, like, why did I do that? <laughs> but, like, but I did not want to be in here. I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, but being in here, like, it's one thing, us being in here right now, and, like, you know, we're all together, yeah. and kind of, like, safety in numbers. Yeah. Um, I remember walking in here and just being scared to death. Like, you know, I wanted to run out of here. I was only in here for a little bit. Um, I don't know what it was about this room specifically, but it really did frighten me. Why, um, why do you guys think it's got, like, a negative energy? I mean, I would assume the fact that multiple men have died just outside this door. I mean, I'm sure it caused an imprint somehow into this ground, this dirt, this building. Sits. I know he had a, um, there was a, uh, there was a jail, uh, like a, what was it, there a gate or something here to put the prisoner in it for a little bit. Before, uh, before they hung him? Yeah, there a was, cell. yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. a, a holding cell, yeah. There was like that. a holding cell, so I think... To be honest with you, I think what you're feeling is what they're feeling before they're getting hung. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I mean, that's you what, that anticipation yeah. that, like, yeah. hey, I'm going to be hung, yeah. and that, that's going to imprint into location. I mean, like, and I right. think that's kind of maybe I'd have to... And to be honest with you, if you see how low the tree is, I mean, yeah. you imagine the person already knows what the other person went through. Right. I mean, that feeling here, I just, that's, I, I just feel very uneasy in here and just don't want to be in it, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. I mean, even with a crowd of people, I still... I feel uneasy in this place, almost anywhere. They have like a built-in air conditioning right here, right? Yeah. That's kind of what they use through the air conditioning. Wow. Definitely a weird vibe in here, man. Like I don't know. I, don't I know. feel it for sure. It's definitely not like. Um, I, I feel if you don't, I'm rocking back forth. I'm not the type yeah. that does that. <laughs> I'm like I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, out through this area. We were out here about three weeks ago, and um, I experienced um, a phenomenon of lights um, out in the desert. Now, there is a road that comes through here, but what I was experiencing was like these flashes of light. It was almost like someone taking pictures um, out into the desert, um, just randomly. Like, and um, we kind of went out looking to see if we could find a source of it, but there wasn't one. Someone said there was some type of uh, an asteroid or something like our what were they saying some kind of storm or something yeah um that night but that wasn't what it was it was like literally out in the in the desert um not that far out it was these flashes of light and uh there was no source for them um i can't really explain that i've never really had that experience before i know i had uh, a group before. of people um in the brothel that we'll take you to next and going towards the back of this area and going to here there's a heat sensor going like it was all like on fire for um, so I honestly wonder if my my thermal. Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear that? No, I have a loud voice. So. No, I heard. It sounded like someone yelling out, like a female. Well, they probably want so us to check come that. in the brothel. I have to your... ask you as well. Did you happen? I saw you kind of look over there, uh -huh. and I saw a light over there. Yeah, flash. I thought. I thought maybe I Did saw you that see too. That? Yes. Okay. I thought maybe I saw. I saw yeah. your head turn. Yeah, and looked there, and I saw a light. <laughs> I will honestly say, what I hear back here a lot. I hear horses. The thumping of horses. That's what I'm hearing a lot back to here. To me, this is the most haunted section of this entire town is the building right here, the brothel, and all the way around the back of it. And, and I mean, inside, outside. It's not just what's inside. It's it's what's outside, too. So here, this is where my, my crazy story, um, where I caught a photograph of a uh, an apparition of a female and an apparition, I believe, to be a cowboy. Um, I was telling uh, him about your father earlier, but I, I was right here, 
on the front of this door, I, I took three photographs, and on my fourth photograph, um, the first three were normal, just the room as you see it. The fourth photo um, was a female, and you can see that all of her hands, her fingers and stuff, reaching like this towards me, and behind her was a man with a cowboy hat. And, and the picture is kind of like crazy, like it just screwed up the whole picture, but you can see these things very clearly um, in the photo. And the next two photos, completely normal again. Uh, what that was is I believe one of the ladies of the night that lived here and maybe one of her customers. Ugh. Yeah, so these, these, yeah, these, this is like, you know. These are, these all, I did ask um, what they have here, was originally from the city. So this is stuff they found. Um, oh. Like, I will say, like, the couch is something they probably brought, they brought yeah. in somewhere. Yeah. But um, these tables and chairs and stuff were all in the city. They found rock everywhere. So. Wow. And when the mine went dry, it was like everything that they left, the and they just left. Yeah. Just left. Um, and that's a lot of towns here in Arizona. Um, a lot of people but don't know. none of them it. like this that are so no. fully intact. I mean, oh you just don't see it anymore. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, though, right? Like, this is like yeah. old school, like, brothel stuff, you know? My hands, you know, my, if I get cold, my hand don't want to move anymore. The older I get. Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. a little bit bigger room. So, kind of like how these brothels, how they all go, is that... As you get closer to the Madden scores, you're going to get larger rooms. So this would be, you know, you'd have like a woman that was just kind of starting out. Yeah. She didn't have a clientele, so she got a much smaller room. As her clientele was built, she'd go into the next room. And then, you know, over here we have what is the Madden scores, right? The largest where that's the woman who takes over every chair, right? And overseas. Oh, what? And overseas. Um, oh, oh, did it really? Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard that something. Was, that was the it's door. Like the the door does this one actually. We were actually going. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. Wait. This is the most active. Doors shut and move in this place a lot. It's the woman who takes over every chair. Right? Oh, over. It's the woman who takes over every chair. Right? Over. Um, a lot of times, um, people will actually come to you um, with I don't know, something that was familiar with them, uh, a cigar. Um, you might smell tobacco. Um, you might actually smell somebody's, I would say the polish of the shoe, because back then they did polish their shoes all the time. Yeah. Um, a lot of times the women's perfume. Um, big here is rose. And um, if you actually came over here, one of these perfumes actually say rose water. I forget yeah, what it is. Yeah, you smelling roses the last time. I don't know yeah, which one, but you What? What? Yeah, what is There's this? There's something behind me. It's the door. The door moves or something. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. I definitely you just heard that, right? Wait, 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 wait. I heard a real voice. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, hold up. I saw a light actually. I don't know if you saw that or not. That was, like, was talking. There was a light. That was like a door like slamming was what no, I first no, heard. No, I don't know what that was. There, there's was there's, there's stuff we were talking about this the last time we were here that they really? were seeing weird things in front of the window. We were trying to debunk it yeah. and we couldn't figure it out. We were trying to use our We went back over here. There was people noises. I I would sit right here. And I would let other people investigate and stuff, and I tried to let other people do their own thing. You pretty thing. much stayed in yeah. here. I mean, that's kind of like your style of investigating, though. It's like, sit in the room, I mean, as boring as it possible. And when he's in silent, I love yeah. that. Yeah. Because that's honestly my kind of investigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, be quiet. Just exactly. Let it, because yeah. I'm sorry to say, you can shotgun questions all day long. Mm -hmm. The spirit world might not be able to even answer you until an hour later, because mm -hmm. you might not get it. So just being quiet, listening, and smell. Observing. Yep. Back here, I heard boots while you were talking, it sounded like. Uh, I, I forget yeah, what it is. Yeah, we were smelling roses the last time. I don't know yeah, which one, but you What? What? Yeah, what is There's that? There's something behind me. It's the door. The door moves. Or something. The oh, door oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. I definitely you just heard that, right? Wait, I definitely wait, feel like wait, I heard a real voice. Uh -huh. Wait, wait.
This is a creepy area back here. Yeah, this is the this is the one that you, is, it gets worse as you get back. Oh no. Heavier. So this is where I first saw the lights out in the desert. Brandon, move over for a second. Um, is it that light over there? No, no, Brandon. It's like it's just it was lights out here just randomly in the desert. Um, and I was sitting here and I was watching them and I was with two other females back here um, and they were they were experiencing the same phenomenon with me. And then about like the same time as we were like realizing that there was no possible explanation for these lights, because you can see the car is clearly driving mm -hmm. around this road. But the lights that we were seeing were like literally like right up here, like at this bush. Mm -hmm. um, over here, um, over here. Um, over here, like over here, like it was just like there, the, there was no reflection. There's nothing out there. Yeah. Whoa. What? Almost like a gun. Yeah. It's almost like a pop. This is this is a. It was right, right behind you. I mean, I swear. Dude. What? someone talking out here what's crazy bro is that in april i think it's april there's late march or april we're doing a, a, an overnight lockdown here and we're inviting the public out to actually stay in these <laughs> buildings overnight an official lockdown and like i kept saying that i was brave enough to like stay out here on this patio there's no way in hell i'm gonna do that <laughs> no, <laughs> let me just walk back here. Like, I wish I could, but I, in theory, I think like, I'm no. like, an RV that's a little bit. Dude, is there someone standing right there? Dude, I saw someone standing right there. I want to know what they thought they saw. Because yeah, me too. They were reacting. They were reacting, reacting at that exact same moment. Yeah. I'm getting a little freaked out. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious, bro. Wait, where are they what? What? Oh, yeah. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, hold on. Wait a sec. No. Where were you? Well, you guys were down there, right? You no. Okay, I'm going to explain yeah. something. No, no, you guys... We, he oh. caught this on video, right? Yes, now. yes. Okay, so let's recount this. We're done. I walked over here. I had no idea what you guys were doing. And Brandon, I say something. I say, is there someone standing right there? And Brandon says, oh, my God, there's someone standing right there. You guys oh. scream and say there's someone standing right there. We, we, we're, it was right, <laughs> right outside. There, you caught that on video, yes, right? Yes, got the right whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yes, oh, my yes. gosh. Perfect. May not have caught it on the video, but wow. you at least caught the reactions of everyone. And so, oh my so, god, so, it, was yeah. it was way down there. Well, we yeah. see the light. We're like, oh, it's yeah. them. Okay. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. It, it was, was before the light. Too. It was before the it light. Was before yeah. the light. He was like, oh, thank God. I saw it. <laughs> yeah. But, but you're missing. But, but what did you guys see? Well, no, we, exactly. We had a popping sound. Yeah, we had like a popping sound right next to his, like, like and area. Like, I'm going to tell you what I saw, dude. Okay. Like, me, what I saw, what I thought I saw. Was the guy about right here? <laughs> That's what I saw. Like this. Right this is what I saw, but like, oh, like taller than me and thinner, like way thinner. You just but, saw that now? Well, earlier, and then he shined the light, and you guys screamed and came back out. So you guys heard a popping noise, which maybe that was that the guy out here. Exactly. You know what I mean? And we had no idea what the hell you guys were talking about. Well, we were, we're having we're, a conversation. Yeah, we were just talking about, about something about completely else. Later <laughs> on, so, yeah, we heard boots. boots like, we heard like boots there. going. Oh, no, that's awesome then. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah, what I was doing. Right there. It was right here. Yeah, yeah, right, she was sitting right here. I was sitting right here. That. It was right here. And we're like, that's awesome. And, and then, then all that. Yeah. Then you. That's just just like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's all about the personal High five. Hell yeah, yeah to that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> there's Ooh. a lot of deaths in the mine itself. Um, and then there's been um, deaths of children. Um, they had some kind of a... Well, they had a flu epidemic yeah, come through. Well, I don't, I don't, was it uh, smallpox? I think it was smallpox. It was, it was something like that or influ influenza, one or the other. Um, a lady, she, uh, she ended up kind of contaminating the entire town. Oh, no. She wanted a drink. She went down to the local bar. Um, knowing she shouldn't, I, I think is what I've been told. Um, and then in fact, actually, the it, kitchen was actually on the kitchen the area is where they actually started taking all the sick. Oh, uh, oh yeah, okay. The because hospital. Their local Sorry, little oh, okay. doctor hospital place where they had was just like a one room um, place. So then this right here, this is the, um, what is it called, babe? The what one? What is this place called? I forgot. This is the boarding house. Boarding house, okay. 
So this is where the men would stay that was mining and they had like, they probably, like they said, how they have it set up is not how they had it back then. There was probably over 20 beds or more in this, um, in this place. Wow. But when they had the smallpox, this is where actually everybody ended up started going. Um, and a lot of people died. Right here in the kitchen. In the kitchen area, yeah. But this was the boarding house. I um, mean, what they did is they stacked more or less bunk beds all in here and people would sleep in here. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of, there was some, um, if you get to see the picture of the old city, of Ulster City, you'll see all the different little sheds of everything else. Well, a lot of people couldn't afford that. Um, when you first got here, you didn't make no money yet, this is where they would stay, this mm -hmm. is house. This is like the least negative or like... Oh yeah, I have never, only thing I've ever experienced here, we have seen like um, shadow figures throughout the whole area, um, but um, boots. And it was actually not just like my shoes. You hear, you know how um, cowboys had those little spur things on the back? Yep. You would sort of hear that with the spur thing hitting ah. too. So you hear that a lot. Here. Cool. So uh, it's really interesting what it is. If you can tell my son just wanders. No, it's okay. Totally tell. He doesn't care. <laughs> uh, you just gotta respect um, Rod, the owner. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much of the history he is. It's insane. I mean, and what he's doing for everybody to be able to come back here and just see this. I mean, it's amazing. It's, I mean, it's just amazing. This boots. Um, and we see shadow play throughout the. Dude, you have no idea, guys. What? You guys just missed like the craziest shit ever. Oh, oh yes. That place is crazy. Oh, wait a second. Wait, what? How did... you, you, know, you don't have, there. you are on the other, they're on the end of the building. We had a directional light. It just did it again. How'd that happen? Yeah. What? What was that? Bro, turn on the there's it light. It definitely was not your light. He didn't have his light on. Okay. It's a different kind That's of light. That's not that. Right? It's a different it's color light. light. It yeah, it's yellow light. Yeah, it's yellow light. light. Not this? Holy shit. Yeah, I've, I've seen both of them. Okay. No, we just saw, we were out here talking, and it was almost like it turned daylight right here on the yeah, side of the right. thing. This is light came, a light source that would have had to light? come from over here. Like the directional. Like, yeah, like someone would have had to shot it. And you guys were on the end of the building, behind the building. And that happened if you, you just came up. What this place and when you guys were walking doing, out, yeah. it was doing it's trying to separate. Exactly. Um, I've noticed when we're here Why investigating it, it so tries to weird. separate everybody. Interesting. Um, scary. It really does. It wants you to be in different locations. What was it? Uh, yeah, I, I, you I, saw that. Right? Oh, I'm not losing my mind, right? Okay. You know, like I said, boots. Um, and we see shadow play throughout the. Dude, you have no idea, guys. What? You guys just missed like the craziest shit ever. Oh. Oh, yes. That place is crazy. Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait. This is like the craziest shit ever. Oh, oh yes. That place is crazy. Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait. What? I've tried to figure out where this light was coming from for a while, but after reviewing the footage over and over again, I can't figure it out. It seemed to have been coming from one of the abandoned buildings right next to the kitchen, but I couldn't see a source point when I slowed down the footage. What is this light and what do you think it was? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but like I said, we really have not been in here. So this is like more or less the workshop um, where they did work. <laughs> yeah, they did, they work. Um, and it's still not done. So you actually really get to see, Brandon. I want you to be careful. Without light, don't do it. Mm hmm. Because there was holes in certain areas, Brandon. Brandon Paul. I will use your full name. James, your son ain't listening. Yeah, well, he's learning from the best. Is it Paul? Do you want to fall? Uh, well, you know, uh, no, okay. I don't actually. Don't fall, please. <laughs> I got really crappy insurance right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you seriously could walk around. I told them that we really haven't completely gone in we here. We haven't been able to do much in here because they're in the process of putting this together as they did the other ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but this is where the blacksmith was at. So oh, this yeah. is where all the, this is where all the history came from, as far as his journals. Yeah. It's all done right here in this building. It wasn't for him. We've never had any of the information that we have in the town, so this is a really important well, part of the town. Covered. I don't understand though that there have really big holes in parts of this building, and I really nobody's been able to explain that. There was I mean, one, like almost like they had a basement here, almost. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You never know, huh? 
the blacksmith's torture chamber. Yeah, yes. there we go. <laughs> With his tools. Great <laughs> I'm telling you, this light was hey, a trip, yes. man. Yes, I was I, just I mean, thinking the same thing. I really, <laughs> it, it was like it was daylight for a minute. And the first time it was much brighter. Well, that's a little spooky. This is where Jay always has fun activity. Maybe it's because of the sick people. <laughs> the kitchen had probably rooms and everything like that, but you gotta be very cautious with us. You can get through and everything, but the door doesn't open all the way very easily. Did you do that, Mark? Yeah. I was just saying he has really tough. Yeah. Oh, I just heard a voice of some yeah, sort. I heard. We hear a lot of voices. I heard it. That was almost a baby. It sounded like. See that? That's this is where that baby noise came from. I was standing, I was standing in here actually, and um, I was probably over here, and we heard it two times within thirty minutes, like right here in the center of the hallway, right here. Um, and we all heard it. I mean, it was clear as day. But what that's all about? That kind of a trip, though. This is a trippy yeah. building. Yeah. It's like a combination of like unfinished and like all you know, this stuff. Came, when I know they said when they started doing the kitchen area, because this is the first thing they did, they said that a lot of this stuff was just here. Like, like look at this. It was just yeah, left like, behind. Yeah. I mean. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely crazy. It's also some of the labeling on it too, which is pretty cool, right? And those are unopened, right? Yeah, yeah. some of them, yeah. yeah. Liquid bluing? What is that? Like radiation inside of it or something. Yeah. <laughs> Liquid. What does that I say? No Blood idea. perfume? What do they know? Blood purifier. Wait, really? Well, what the f yeah, yeah. What was that? What was that? You hear that, Mom? What the f? This is how they wash dishes. Oh, wow. And this That's is how insane. it was. That's insane. Oh, yeah. the knife, too? Yeah. <laughs> What the frick was it? Can you? Uh, was it a rattling, right, or something? I kind of snaked. It seemed like a, for me, like a, not a crumpling of paper, but of something like stuff pushing mm -hmm. it together, like crumpling stuff together. What was that, there? I heard that too. What? <sighs> yeah, I know. It's like talking right there. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like talking right there. I'm sorry if I grabbed this and then they came. Oh my god. I heard what, what, it. What did you just hear? What, like, like, what do you think it said? Um, hold on. So I said hello, whatever, right? And it, it, it sounded like. It sounded like two female voices, what it sound like. You know like when women talk when they whisper and it's that kind of like that clanking of their mouths and this like the saliva, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like it's like I don't know, something weird like that. <laughs> and it was like right in front of my face. Ugh. Like they were trying to talk to me. That was great. I didn't mean to be scared or kind of a, a whip. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to actually talk to me. Most women don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Total footsteps as soon as I said that too. Dude, you hear it again? They're back there talking, bro. Yeah. Go back there, man. Oh, no, wait, wait, there's movement right here. Hold on. Oh my god, this shit is 
I just found the door shut. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure one the door shut and the brothel. That's where it's going. There was nothing on the top of my cell in my face. They were like right here. And I just had the impression that they were like right there. What was that? I don't know. I've never been this here in this building before. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, thank you. Okay. Holy cow. Fear. Thank <laughs> you.